I am both excited and nervous to film this video because it really just exposes my shopping addiction once again. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Brittany and I have a shopping addiction. And today I'm really gonna expose it because when I placed my last Sephora order, which is a whole dedicated video if you'd like to watch that, um, I can check back to every single purchase I've ever made. So we're going to go through my entire Sephora purchase history, which I believe started in 2019, and I'm going to see everything I bought, and we're going to see if I even still own these items. So there's not much more explanation that's needed. We're going to set up the laptop and get into it. We're on Sephora's website, already sales that are drawing me in again, and we're going to go to my profile and my orders. I, I'm kind of nervous. I haven't made too many. So if you see my start date is August 22nd, 2019. So I actually really haven't been a Sephora member that long. That probably 2019. Uh, at that time, that was towards being my last semester of college. So I probably was like finally understanding the concept of money and thinking maybe I should make an account. Or this is only as far back as the history goes. So regardless, this is what we're working with. So very first Sephora purchase on this account is one item, one. <laughs> um, the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. One thing I know for certain is that they don't make my shade anymore because I actually tried to repurchase this because I only have a little bit left. Um, I actually do still own this. I do still like it. Probably two years ago means it's expired, but I still like it, so I'm still using it. Um, but I actually do still use this and I still own it. So we're off to a good start, which makes me happy. Thank goodness. <laughs> okay, next order was September 17th, 2019. Okay, focused on skincare here. Okay, so at the top is the Origins. Ginseng oil-free energy boosting moisturizer. Um, looks like I bought this small one because it was only $18. I will say it is a good moisturizer. I did not repurchase it just because I found other ones that I like better, but Origins is a really good brand. I bought the Kiehl's Foaming Face Wash. I know for a fact I never finished this product and I did give it away. Um, I go through so many like skincare cleansers and at this point in my life I was really jumping around and I was like if it's not working right away then it's not working um this one I just never found to like be something that I want like really wanted to dedicate time to clear skin days brightening peel pads by Sephora collection I did finish them I like to have those for after I work out from the gym I use something different now but I did try those and they weren't bad um the Clear Skin Days by Sephora Clarifying Serum did nothing for me. It's a waste of money. Don't buy it. You can spend a better $12 somewhere else. And then an Ilia Priming Serum Trial Size. I know I never use this. I never use my trial samples, but I always get them because they're free. Okay, that wasn't bad. That total was $77. That was pretty pricey for four items. Okay, this is kind of a random order. Um, the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% and Zinc. Um, Ordinary is good, so I won't fault myself for any product I buy from there because they are affordable. Murad Invisiscar Post Acne Resurfacing Treatment. This is before I had discovered if I had found anything that I liked to remove my acne scars. I don't even remember finishing this bottle, if we're being honest, and you literally get point five ounces $35 so not worth your money Anastasia Beverly Hills best brow kit um, I bought this and was it for me or was it a gift I know I was really into Anastasia Beverly Hills brows at this time so it's possible I bought it for me so if I did buy it for me I know that I used it um, but if it was a gift I'm sure someone loved it <laughs> I don't see myself buying a brow kit for someone, which makes me feel like I did it for myself. And then we actually got three samples. Use to the People Kombucha Toner. Don't ever remember trying it. 
Lululemon Sweat Reset Face Moisturizer. The fact that Lululemon has moisturizer is kind of concerning to me, but I probably got it because it said Lululemon. And then Trunk Elephant Polypeptide Cream. Don't remember using any of these samples either. <laughs> I mean the samples man, I think the samples are killing me more than anything. Actually that October 27th one might have been the Sephora sale or I didn't know about it because then the next order is December 8th, 2019 which is a day before my birthday. Why I would buy a day before my birthday is questioning and concerning. Just one item in it, it is the Atelier Cologne in the Clementine the California per Pure Perfume. It came with a leather case. Um, I love this perfume this perfume is amazing it's such a clean fresh scent and i still own it because i am so stingy with my dang perfumes that i never want to finish them here it is out of the leather case so you can see how much is left for two so it's 78 dollars for two years and it's now up to here i don't know if you guys can tell that's pretty good that's getting my money's worth so people always shit on the cost of perfumes which i agree pricey but if it's gonna last a long time it's worth it next one we go from december to <laughs> there's three orders in a row april 21st april 26th and april 27th what was going on okay april 21st this was last year so this was peak this is quarantine just started here Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Good choice. The I made a repurchase of the Clarifying Serum. See, I don't ever remember buying a second bottle. Clearly I did. Um, I must have finished it again. I must have really thought it was doing something. <laughs> it did not. Lesson learned. And then the Precision Pore Cleansing Pad. I do still own that. I don't use it very often only because... I feel like I need to be gentle around my skin because it's sensitive but if I do want a really deep scrub I use that um, and it was only seven bucks I don't think you need to buy like the hundred and fifty dollar versions so not a bad purchase but this is one of three in the span of five days so okay once again another one item purchase <laughs> the Armani Beauty luminous silk perfect glow flawless oil free foundation in color three um, I do still own this and I do like this foundation. Is it worth $64? I don't think so. This must have been during their like semi-annual sale because I'd only paid $58, which is good. Okay, and the last purchase in this frenzy here. <laughs> um, I'm not, why, again, with the one items here is odd to me like why did i not purchase them all together but um i think i just still at the time was really kind of like semi with sephora i was like mm, i don't know they're pricey at everything um first aid beauty ultra repair oil control moisturizer so i did get this and i actually did not like it because even though i get oily this one literally sucked the life out of my skin i became so dry and so patchy and it was 100 percent from this because it was the only thing i switched in my routine so that's how I know that I did not like this and it was not right for me. I really like their other one, the Ultra Hydration Repair one. I don't remember the exact name. I currently use that and I love that one to death. Sometimes it's just finding the products for you. Okay, so after that April stint, we then have a big jump where we jump to November and December of this time last year. Um, so I made two orders on November 3rd. I don't even know what they could be. Uh, oh, this is when I... This is when I started to go crazy. I took the whole summer off and then dove right in. Okay, the Drunk Elephant Mini. So they were small, AHA and BHA mask. Have to be 100% honest. At the time did not understand what AHA or BHA was, but I just really wanted to buy something Drunk Elephant. I do not use these products anymore. Milk Makeup Cooling Water. I do still own this product. My regret here is that I didn't buy the mini size because you don't need a full size of that. <laughs> the Laneige Water Wonderland. I do actually still use some of these products. I have given two of them away just because I moved on to greener pastures, but I still use the lip sleeping mask, which I love, and I still use the cream skin. I actually used it earlier after I took my shower to just bring hydration back into my face. Bumble and Bumble Sweat and Refresh Dry Shampoo and Hair Primer Set. 
I still use both of these products and I love both of them. So the mini white bottle is like uh, a hair primer you do for when like styling, but the bigger one is so after you go to the gym and then your hair is like greasy from the sweat, you spray it and do a little rub and it helps absorb it and make your hair last longer because we know that sweating can make your hair need to be washed sooner. So that chef's kiss, I'm really glad I bought that. This Marc Jacobs Beauty Mini Duo Set. Marc Jacobs doesn't even make beauty anymore. I didn't use either of these products. Kosas Mini Wet Set Clean Lip Oil Trio. Love these. They're some of the best oil lips on the market, I personally think. And it's a great set. Um, it doesn't look like they make it anymore, but I know that they still make these products. So I would highly recommend. I still have them and I still use them. Sephora Collection Lip Stories in the shade We. Um, if you're looking for lipsticks on an affordable price, I'd highly recommend. Do I reach for this lipstick all the time? Could I have lived without it? Yes. Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez Concealer Brush. I do still have this brush. I do still use it. Do I grab for it as often as I thought I was going to? No, but I definitely still grab for it, so I am glad that I have it. Um, but could I have lived without spending $16 on it? For sure. The Rare Beauty Brightening Concealer. Love this concealer. Did buy shade one shade too light. What did I get? 150C. I don't even know what that means. But I definitely could have uh, for sure <laughs> did a better shade match. Um, but I still like it and I still use it because I do think it's a good concealer. Um, I spent $192. Wait. <laughs> That is a lot of money. And that was only that one purchase from that day. Um, let's go to the other one. Do I regret some of these purchases? For sure, but like, you know, we all know that makeup and skincare really is trial and error. So like, I don't totally fault myself for it. I just should have been educated making my purchases and I just wasn't. Okay, oh look, I bought another Marc Jacobs set, which I do still have two of the products from that set. Do I reach for them often? Not really, but I do still have them. The Jisoo hair oil. I remember getting it. I know for a fact that I returned it. I remember getting it and it was, I swear to you, this big. And I was like, there's no way this is worth $25, even if this was made of gold. December 8th, what is with the day before my birthday purchase? I don't really get that, but... <sighs> Oh, another, this was a gift that I bought myself for my birthday. This is the Chanel number five in the scent. Leo? Lau? I don't know, but peep it. I still have it. This is one of my favorites to wear also. Look, I've barely even used it because I am like, oh, Chanel, only use Chanel at the best times, but I don't regret it. Even though the bottle seems tiny, again, this is lasting a really long time, especially if you're not using it every day. Like if it's your signature everyday scent, it's going to go quicker, but I am really, really happy that I bought this. I just like to smell good for sure. That's one of my favorite things is to smell good. Okay, we have a couple purchases in December. Um, obviously that one and then the 20th and then the 27th. On the 20th, let's see. We haven't even made it to 2021 yet, which is a lot of purchases. Okay, Huda Beauty Mini Power Bullet Matte Lipstick. Love these. Glad I bought that. I think that's 100% worth it. The Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighter. Well, I do think it's pretty and I do like to play around with it sometimes. Don't grab for it often. Is that the worst thing in the world to like have ones that like you only reach for sometimes? I, I don't think so. Um, I do still have it, so I don't feel as bad. The Beauty Blender Foundation. I do really like this foundation. I think it's great, but I know for a fact that I bought a shade way, way, way too dark. I'm sure it's going to come up in a few purchases because um, then I bought a lighter shade that matched me instead of just returning this one. Uh, Sephora Collection Bubble Mask. I did use it because it was a mask. It was weird. I didn't need to waste my money on it. And then... I actually do think I've used these samples. Yay! <laughs> the Amika Flash Instant Shine Mask. I remember using it, but not having any opinion on it. And then the Marc Jacobs Daisy Love Mini Sample. I know for a fact I kept it in my purse or something like that. I have tons and tons of perfume samples. It's crazy. And then the other December purchase right before the new year. Let's see. 
the beauty blender in my correct shade I yes instead of just returning the one in the wrong shade I just bought another one. Oh, the Saint Tropez by Ashley Graham glow mousse kit um I remember getting it I, it wasn't on sale what, oh, I don't know what this ten dollar discount is but I love it it's my favorite self tanner I by far by far Isle of Paradise is a close second but the the Saint Tropez is top tier I would buy it again over and over I haven't run out yet because I don't self tan as much as I would like to because it's time consuming but and then this other one why why a single purchase I don't know what these single purchases are um rare beauty soft pinch liquid blush love Selena Gomez's blush I still have this but I don't personally love the color that I bought I was trying to branch out from like really light pinks and peaches which I feel like suit me best and do more of a deeper shade that was a regret I do still have this and I do still pull for it every once in a while but I for sure could have exchanged for a better shade oh this looks like a good order too okay tower 28 beach please lip and cheek oh this is for lip holy shit I only use it for cheek it's our cream blush in rush hour love it if it's not the rare beauty blush it's this blush because this one is god tier as well it it just complements me so well it's like a mixture of pink and peach and that's why I love it so much so don't regret that purchase at all super goop unseen sunscreen I still use it I still love it I think it's good because I get really really oily and I feel like this one helps make me look not as oily and the Charlotte Tilbury mini airbrush flawless finish setting powder I still have this and I still love it and I was really happy that I finally became smart and purchased and got a mini size which was more affordable um I still haven't even hit pan on the mini because I'm sure if you have a ton of makeup products like the minis last long so and it gives you a chance to try the products without splurging so much money so very happy with that okay we've got two again right in the same span as each other April 13th and 16th oh the sale again we're back at the sale you do seem to heavily buy during sale period oh so scary <laughs> okay the Sephora favorites clean me up set which came with a bunch of minis um I do and don't regret this purchase I, I I do regret it because again I don't reach for minis as much as I hope to like I think they're great for like travel but I'm just not traveling as much as I think I am so it just doesn't get used enough unfortunately the Sol de Janeiro the vitamin C version so like the pink bottle not the yellow one I for its price point I kind of wish I bought the original so that I could experience the original because I've never tried that one this one is definitely really really thick I don't know if the original is as, as thick because this has vitamin C I do really like it um, but it takes a long time to blend into your skin so it's not gonna be a repurchase for me but I'm definitely going to use it because it's lotion and I will always use lotion it's so for collection hydrating lip mask was not good but it was only three dollars so I don't feel bad um, the Briojo exfoliating shampoo mini again I bought the mini so that I could test it out and see if I liked it I did like it but I never got around to doing a full-size purchase so I could have bought a full-size later on but I don't know why I didn't and maybe it just wasn't as good as I remember it being I don't know tower 28 milk milky lip jelly gloss love it to death wearing it on my lips right now to die for Caudalie instant detox mask uh, I've only heard amazing things about it I have repurchased it since this time because it's that good and the Inculus C50 blemish night treatment I think I used it a couple times I didn't know what I was doing and I still don't know what I'm doing with that product again the small orders really get me the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood contour wand I still own this I still love it I honestly actually think it was because it was out of stock and it came back in stock for this one um I did use it today and again very happy and then the Bel belief problem solution cleansing foam I still own this I don't reach for it that often because I believe it had some ingredients in it that like I just don't want to mix with others so hmm. last order before my most recent one which again is a recent video so I'm not going to do that order July 23rd this was a summer purchase what did I purchase during the summer so the fact that I can't even remember is like sad oh I it was for my inky list video I don't even have to go through this order so it wasn't a bad purchase I did use all of these products pretty much up except for a couple of them and I was pretty much happy with all of them so that's a good sign 
So if you made it to the end of this video, thank you guys so much for watching <laughs> my entire Sephora order history. Um, if you saw anything you want to buy, go ahead, check it out. I'm not linking anything below. <laughs> I hope this guy's inspired you to be better with your shop. I don't know why inspire of like you shouldn't be inspired by anything in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed going on this journey with me. My throat hurts definitely from all the talking that we've done now. And I will for sure see you guys in another video. Bye.